Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do. Sport? Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blow. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. It's my turn. It's not your turn. Yes, you said it last yeah. time. Hey, this week is SWD, Severe Whitetail Disorders, and we got the posse hunting from all over the country. Wow, you should become a professional narrator. Yes, this week's Lucky Logo is Stimulus Nikon. Stimulus package. At the end of the show, we'll tell you what happens if you find the lucky logo. Nikon. Nikon. The little yellow box. They make the world clear for all your viewing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, first we're just going to go into Steve's up in Wisconsin. Steve up in Wisconsin, one of our fellow cheeseheads. Here they go. How can he be a fellow cheesehead? We live in Illinois. We're bordering them. Oh, my gosh. You know, I don't know about you sometimes. Damn it, Craig and I said a couple weeks ago, and the battery on the camera was dead. We switched to the back of the battery. It was also dead. Uh, we saw seven bucks, three shooters. I passed up a real nice buck here, hoping to kill him on camera. I sat at the same stand last weekend, Greg Cut Hunt. I passed up that same shooter, so now we got the camera with us. Hopefully he comes back out tonight. We got a good wind. It's a beautiful night. Had a nice rain yesterday. The deer should be on their feet. We got a front coming in tomorrow, so uh, hopefully he comes back out tonight and gives us another opportunity. This is one of the easiest track jobs I've ever had. Nice deer. This is just what we've been trying to trying to grow here the last few years. So uh, it's really paying off. So I was getting nervous though, <laughs> letting him walk. So <laughs> third time's a charm, huh? Yeah, third time's a charm. Exactly right. Greg pulled some strings. He wasn't going to be able to hunt tonight, uh, and he was able to come out and hunt. And and uh, I have to got... thank my wife for that one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sarah. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's just a great thing. It's, it's a super one. It's our first uh, buck kill on video for Greg and I. Uh, we do an awesome job. I, I appreciate Greg. He gives up a lot of time to hunt with me. Uh, he's a good friend. Uh, you know, these are the times you, you'll remember your whole life. So uh, it's just an awesome feeling when it all comes together. And, and uh, I'll remember this, uh, this buck for a long, long time. So. Hey, Stevie. Stevie. I mean, wow, that's dedication. When when you have a buck like that, any any animal, when you turn it down because your cameraman's not there, those two guys they deserve a hurrah. 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 Next, when we come back, we're going to join the Norths. The Norths. Steve and Robert, Ste father and son, great team, paired up together, and they have a lot of dedication also. Ugh. And you're going to see one of them go hunting with his recurve. Don't yep. go anywhere. You know, it's really cool. Shh. I already said they, don't go anywhere. They share it. I mean, it's... I already said don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm going. It's done.
That was better. Ooh. Welcome back. Now let's join our father and son posse, yeah. Robert and Steve North, as they are, well, as Robert's attempting to get to a stand. That'd be nice. Just let him watch the show. Robert, are you using that, that Hoyt bow as a, a walking stick? If not, you should be. We're sitting on a pretty, pretty decent stand tonight. It's actually about 80 degrees, so the weather's not really cooperative right now. Uh, we set this area last week, and it's what it is. It's right on a fence line that's got quite a few hickories and acorns on it, and we saw a really nice 10-pointer. So hopefully that buck can come back in tonight and our luck will be a little different. Drilled it. She's going down, Dad. She's going down right there. She went down. She went down. Oh my God. Yeah, she went down right here. She's behind the leaves. Walking right here. Yeah, my bowling hit that. I drilled her. I double under. She's dead. She is right there. Oh man. She was stumbling as she walked in. You can't. You can hardly see because of all the leaves. Yeah, she started stumbling right there, and I just saw her white belly flip up right over there. You gotta be kidding me. They hopped the fence and came right here, and as I released my bowl limb, hit the ladder stand, but uh, it didn't affect her at all because that arrow went right through her, and she's done right there. God, that was awesome. That was awesome. Thanks, Dad. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip, well, guess what? Wind. It can kill you. You know, you could use grab a little match or lighter and do this. You could use your powder puffs. Well, I'll tell you what, now is the time before all the foliage grows into your area. Get out there and get the little kids smoke bombs. Maybe a lot of little kids, but I'm a little kid. And what you do is get in your stand area, your ground by your tree stands, and light the little ones. And what this does is the, it will teach you in your area what the wind does on any given stand. We do this every year, early, early light now, and then when the foliage is gone completely and when it's full completely. And what happens is we follow it, and we walk and follow this smoke line, and we could see, and we write it down on our little, little cards, and it tells us what stand to hunt with what winds. These smoke bombs and the little round ones, not like this, but the bottom line here is it will teach you how to become a better hunter in the areas that you're hunting. That is your Boning World Tip of the Week. That's the sweetest color. <gasps> SWD, baby. That's right. Well, we're up here in Illinois and I got my first, first doe of the season. This is the christening of my new Hoyt. We took it on elk hunt, we weren't very successful, but uh, now it's initiated, it's got some blood on the limbs, so now it's ready to go for deer season and the rest of its life. 
I pick my spot and I let the beam in go. And I'll tell you what, it blew through here like butter. This, uh, this razor cap we're shooting is a phenomenal broadhead. We've shot it on a couple deer now. It left an incredible blood trail, but luckily we didn't even have to follow it because I saw her go down. That's the best kind. I love this so much. I thank God every day that I get a chance to do this with my family. Hey, congratulations, Robert. That was awesome. <laughs> that really was, guys. Congratulations. You know, Robert, I got to ask. I got to ask this. Have a nice trip. We'll see you next fall. Yeah, okay, when we come back, we'll just join Brian, another posse in Illinois. Yes. And we'll try to get over that comment. See you in a minute. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, now now we're going to join Brian again mm -hmm. in Illinois. Right, over Scott's over, food plots. Yeah, shot plots. Yep. Evolve shot plots. Mm -hmm. They did real good with those. He's going to go hoit a great deer buck. He's going to hoit. He's going to hoit. Watch as he hoits a great buck. Hoit! <laughs> First time we wanted this set. I couldn't see many deer at my farm. Scott invited me over here on his food plot. First time they've ever been hunted. First morning, boom, we nail it. Get a baby. <laughs> Bright red all the way down. Oh yeah, that's what you like to see right there. That's a dead deer. There he is right there, baby. Yeah, he's down, baby. We did it. Yeah. Boy, he really got hunkered in there. Woo. There he is. Nice 10 pointer. Good mature deer. Whew. Well, here he is. We got him, finally got him drug out. He's a nice 10 pointer, tickled to death with him. Scott volunteered to let me come in, hunt this food plot that he put in by Evolve, I think it's a shot plot. And about eight o'clock this morning, it's October 31st, Halloween actually. He came, you seen him on the backside. I grunted twice, he came in on a rope, 25 yards. And you can see I drilled him with the Hellraiser broadhead. He went 50 yards, crashed in the brush. And just a nice deer, I couldn't be happier, got to think. Scott a bunch for letting me come in here and gotta thank Ralph and Vicky, you know, and Joe, everybody that made this happen. Gotta thank everybody. <laughs> 